to not eat so much candy. <laughs> My doctor just told me I was pre-diabetic. Not right now, thankfully, but in January. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> he was like, yeah, you didn't come back for your follow-up. Did you know this? I was like, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely uh, take better care of my health. Um, I would say I think not just to put, not just for me, but I think for for all of us. One of the questions is: Do we feel a responsibility to? Share the mic, give the platform, help amplify the voice of those who may not be as privileged as we are. Whether that was in elementary school, middle school, high school, adult life, those who are in marginalized communities that come from 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 places where where our rights, their rights are constantly do we feel a responsibility <laughs> as a human being to stand up for one another? And I think that if we ask ourselves that question, if I ask myself that younger, we ask ourselves, ask ourselves that now, think about how we move as a civilization that literally depends on each other for survival. As a cis white man, do you feel a need to stand up for a black woman who's in the boardroom who may not be paid as much as you? That's just one example. I guess with that in mind, are there is there anything on your you know career bucket list, if you will, that you want to achieve, that you want to do as you think about that sort of mission, if you would call it that? I'm, I'm really all about collaboration over competition. Yeah. And I want to have more conversations about that. How do we bring our worlds together? How do we, how do we really stick together and not just for optics, but have deep, meaningful conversations offline on the phone, in person, around ideas and solutions about how to make this world a better place. I'm sharing this because I think it's important, but right now I have acute mercury poisoning. If your level, so four, if you're at a four, that's considered normal. If you're at 11, government says that's acute mercury poisoning. Poisoning. I'm at 25 right now. I changed my diet. I started a pescatarian diet and I was eating a lot of fish. Mercury is in the fish. It's dangerous. Not a lot of people are talking about it. They're dumping it in the rivers. The fish are eating it. Shrimp are eating it. The fish that I love, the sushi that we're eating, they're eating those shrimp, and it's, it's poisoning because it's going to organs. Right now, I have to, I have to start a treatment soon to get this metal out of my body. Yeah. I had no clue until my doctor tested me for it. So I'm saying that to say that we are all affected by the decisions that other humans are making, the capitalistic decisions that humans are making. And it doesn't matter where you sit, the top to the bottom, we are all affected. And we all will be affected. What we're seeing happen with immigration, what we're seeing you know, happening with climate change, women's reproductive rights, the way trans women are being treated, murdered. I mean, we can go on and on and on. So. For me, I'm interested in having conversations on how we correct and not sweep under the rug 
issues around white supremacy and white nationalism. And we have all helped, or we all can be co-conspirators if, but by, by not by simply not doing anything. And yes, that I am passionate about. <laughs> passionate about. I advocate for that. I advocate for more collaboration, more problem solving. 